Notice in verse 7, Likewise ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. Wait a minute. Does it... I, you know, I thought, you know, all the books people wrote about what they know about women, you know, were that thick. You know, you know, like everything I know about women, then they show you a blank page, right? Does this say we got to figure them out? I don't think that's what that's talking about when it says dwell with them according to knowledge. Because look what it says after that. It says, um, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. hindered. So the husbands, he, or Peter, he's telling the husbands to dwell with them according to knowledge, meaning I don't believe he's saying you have to solve the mystery that is a woman. I don't think he's asking them to do that because I don't think you can possibly understand everything there is to know about the woman, but here's what you can do. You can learn what the Bible says about, oh, about your role as a husband. And you know what he said after he says dwell with them according to knowledge? I think, when he's, I think he's referring to you need to know what the Bible says you're supposed to do. And you know what the Bible says you're supposed to do? Give honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. And you know what that, that means? That because you don't understand what it's like to be a woman, because you don't understand what women deal with physically, some of the things that they go through, and because she is weaker than you, because you are able, capable of overpowering her, you know what you're going to do? Even if you feel like something, but for whatever reason you don't understand, she's not you know, feeling that way. You know what you're going to do? You're going to give honor unto her as under the weaker vessel. You're not going to be one of these freak pervs, psychopaths that are out there just like telling, encouraging husbands like it's okay to just have your way with your wife no matter what she says, no matter how she feels. I don't believe in that at all. I believe we should give honor unto them as under the weaker vessel. I've been accused of being a feminist because of that. Okay, and you, know, and you know, the types of freaks accusing me of that, I'll, I'll, I'll take anything negative from them. I just wish they'd name me when they're calling me that so everybody will know I am not a freak like that because that's wicked and that is against the Bible. We are supposed to give honor unto them as unto the weaker vessel. So you know what? Even though I'm a guy and I think one way and without going into a lot of detail, and because I also know I can't understand a woman. I don't know why they are the way they are. I don't know how they feel. I don't know what they go through. So you know what I am going to do? I am going to be understanding, and I'm going to give honors unto the weaker vessel. I'm not going to take advantage. I'm not going to do anything to her or harm. I am not going to be abusive to my wife. I'm going to love her. I'm going to honor her. I'm going to cherish her. That is what a husband does, and that's what he's saying to do. So, you know, women, you have your part to submit, but you know what, guys, you have your part too, where you need to give that honor unto them as unto the weaker vessel. There's some things that you might be able to handle, but they might not be able to handle it. You know, there's things I might want to do, things that I might enjoy, you know, but if, if my wife is not capable of handling it, I need to take that into consideration. She is the weaker vessel and I'm supposed to take care of her. So this means, you know, don't, uh, don't abuse your wife. Put her needs first, especially when it comes to the physical. This means you hold the door open for her. It means you do the heavy lifting. It means you do the protecting. When the burglar comes, you don't send your wife out there to check. You know, you go. You take, you take care of business. You're the one that does that. You're going to give her that honor. That's what a real man does. And this means since you can't understand how she feels during pregnancy, after childbirth, you know, during monthly events, that you know what you do? you listen to what she has to say. It does not mean you are giving her authority. Okay? That's not what it means. I, and I, do, I, I believe we should listen to our wives, you know, because, you know, guys, what is it like recovering from having a baby? You know, I, I need somebody to tell me about that, you know. We can't, we can't explain that. We don't know what it's like to be pregnant. We can't possibly understand any of those things. And so, because it looks like it's really hard, I don't know, ladies, that looks difficult walking around with that great big stomach out there like that. And, and I've, I've been in there when my wife had all the kids. That looked difficult. That looked painful. And, you know what, and I see that kind of thing, and it's just like, you know what, I'm going to talk to my wife before I just like, you know what, I feel like getting pregnant today. You know, let's get it done. You know, no, I'm not going to be that way. 
I'm going to give her honor because I can't possibly understand what's going on in that situation. And again, call me a feminist if you want to. Um, I just think I'm not a freak. That's all there is. That's all there is to it. That's all. That's all I'll say about that. But I, I will never know what it's like to be a woman, and I don't want to know what it's like to be a woman. It, but I and, and men can't have babies. I, I hate that we have to say that in 2023. But men can't have babies. But you know, I do have knowledge of what the Bible says about giving honor unto the wife, giving honor unto the wife as in the weaker vessel. I do know what Proverbs 7:3 says: Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. And likewise, the husband hath not power of his own body, but the wife. Defraud ye not one and the other, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves the fasting and prayer and come together again, that Satan tempt you, tempt you not for your incontinency. The perfect situation is where just both are thinking about each other. You know, both the husband should be thinking about the wife, the wife should be thinking about the husband. That's, that's the perfect relationship right there. A lot of guys are. They're looking for a relationship. They're looking for that woman who has no will and that he can just do whatever he feels like doing whenever he feels like doing it. And you know what? If that's what you think is a guy, stay away from my girls. Okay? Stay away from them. I believe women have great value. I believe they are great treasures. Who can find a virtuous woman? Her price is far above rubies. And listen, you think you're going to get my daughter for free, and you know, and you're going to treat her bad. It's not going to happen. Her price is far above rubies. The only reason, and, and you know, yeah, I'm sniping, but you know, the only re the only reason, the only reason I I would ever give my daughter to a guy is because I'm convinced that this guy's going to love her and take care of her and make her happy, not because he's going to pay me back in rubies or something like that. Okay, I, I would rather get zero dollars from a guy, but him make her happy than him to actually give me rubies and make her miserable. So, uh, you know, that's, that's, and that goes for any of my other daughters in the future. That's how I feel about it. 